Hello, Internet. James Allen from Out of Eight. And today I'm playing Ecosystem Simulation Earth Tongue. In it, you manage a randomly generated world populated with different types of fungi and bugs, trying to manage the balance between those creatures while increasing the total population. I created a new randomly generated world, so we'll check that out and see how much stuff we can get in there. Alright, so I'm going to pause it right here. Uh, so, randomly generated. Uh, there's basically three classes of fungi. There's molds, pods, and mushrooms. And then also uh, three different types of bugs, herbivores, detritivores, and carnivores. Uh, the fungi seem to thrive better in low-lying areas that's closer to the water table, whereas the bugs reproduce by laying eggs and then, you know, eat the specific things that that type of bug eats. What you can do uh, in the game is to do little interventions where you can either choose a random or a specific type of fungus or bug uh, and place it onto the landscape. Uh, you can also choose different weather events like rainfall and stuff like that or physically move things from one location to another to better distribute them uh, in the area. So what I'm going to do, this is actually a pretty excellent area. There's some uh, pink fungi over there I'll keep an eye on. Uh, this is actually a really good area, so I think we're actually going to uh, import some blue stuff right there. We're going to place it right there. So it should uh, go pretty well. I'm going to do some rainfall too. Help this stuff grow a little bit better. There we go. So what you'll notice that there will be spores that form. Uh, and then what you can do is you can actually pick them up and move them uh, to other locations like I'm doing with this blue stuff here. Once I get my fungi going, then I'm going to start uh, getting some insects in. And this is basically the game. Uh, you know, picking up stuff and moving it around to try to make your uh, planet thrive. Now the wind will carry some of these spores around uh, and kind of carry out things on its own without you having to necessarily intervene. But things go a lot quicker if you pick them up and move them yourself. You can see some of these spores are actually moving on their own. There's some more blue stuff way over here. Oh, there's a snail. Hey, snail. Come on over. And he'll start eating this fungi over here and some of these guys. Put you there. And stick you over by the pink stuff. There we go. Perfect. Now let's move some of this over here. If I can actually grab it. Um, you know, the kind of pixel graphics or an artistic and game design choice made by the developers, which is fine, except it makes it kind of hard to decipher what the icons mean at the very top when you're scrolling through the different types of uh, things you can introduce into the world. And there's no tool tips either so it makes it even more difficult in that sense. Yeah, this pink stuff like really sprouts quickly. Alright, looking good. Even put some more over on this side. And again, it's hard to tell when you've actually grabbed something. So, you know, the interface could be better designed uh, and more informative for the user. Let's grab some of the blue stuff over here, too. All right. We're in pretty good shape. You can see all these spores in here floating around. So, pretty good. Probably import another bug here in a second when I get another intervention point. Yeah, we're doing real nice actually. Alright, so we'll accelerate time here a little bit, kind of 
skip ahead, as it were. So, you know, part of it's uh, managing your things, and part of it's just, uh, you know, watching the ecosystem grow. Alright. Starting to need to spread out here a little bit. My biomass is not growing very much. Well, that's exciting. Goes all my spores. Alright, let's do a bug. Oh, got a snail. Enjoy that, buddy. There you go. Yeah, this area is kind of getting eaten up. Dude, drop. There you go. Alright. Well, that increased my biodiversity, or my biomass at least. Diversity is still four different types of plants and animals. We can get a spider in here. Gotta wait till eight though, it's kind of a long time. Speed it up maximum. Oh, there's a spiny slug. Come here, spiny slug. So things will happen. Uh, random events and such. There's a blue mushroom drop somewhere. There you go, buddy. Oh, wait an egg. Speed him up. Yeah, these guys are really going to town on this pink stuff, though. Over there, eat that stuff. Holding out for my spider, and then we'll see. Oh, there's a guy who died. Oh, the snail's gone. Yeah, they're running out of food over here. Bunch of stuff dying. Not very good at uh no, there's a red mantis. Hey you, go over here. Blue mushroom's gone. My biomass keeps dropping. Oh, gotta fly somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hey, Mr. Fly. Move, 
moving spores around. Alright, let's try to get to my spider here. There we go, spider time. Oh no, that was a fly. Uh, I wasted my money. Thought that, see, stupid icons. The heck's the spider then? Oh, he's over there. Darn it. Thought that was a spider. No, well, that was a waste of eight tokens. Oh well. There's a grub. Well, all these things will be good because I'll break down these, uh, the dead stuff and then create more nutrients in the ground, make the plants grow more. So that's good. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, it's an interesting little game. It, uh, doesn't have the depth of something like, say, Sim Earth, if you remember that from a long time ago. Uh, but it's a nice little diversion. Uh, it has a, you know, kind of a simplified simulation where it just has fungi and bugs. Uh, where the different types of bugs have different roles that they can play. Um, it's, it's a lot, you know, you can spend some time manually moving spores and creatures around and try to maximize your biodiversity. Or you can just kind of sit back and watch and see what happens uh, when they're left, along, uh, left alone and left to their own devices. Uh, I don't, not a big fan of the tiny icons. Like I said, it confused me, and I made a spider when I, or I made a fly when I wanted to make a spider. Uh, so that's kind of really the only major bad thing I could find in the game uh, to complain about. So if you're looking into something that's a little bit relaxing and you know can go at your own pace, and you like these types of simulations of life and stuff, and then something you could keep an eye on. And that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.